Hi, in this video, I'm going to discuss the concept of trees. Uh, trees is the second chapter of the fifth module. Let's look into the definition of the tree. A graph G is said to be a tree if it is connected and has no cycle. Let me consider an example. So this is a graph A and one more graph B and here we have one more graph that is graph C and again let me consider two more graph. Name it as graph D. And here it is graph E. Let me have the graph one by one. Here, according to the definition of the tree, a tree should be a connected graph and also it should not contain any cycle. And here you can observe there is no isolated vertex and the vertices present in the graph are connected. And here you can, you can observe there is no cycle in the graph. Hence, this graph can be considered as a tree. Next, the second graph is also a tree. And because here, this graph is also a connected graph and also has no cycle. And the third is the same thing, which is connected and has no cycle. But if you consider the fourth graph, that is graph D, here, it is a connected graph but it contains a cycle. So this can't be considered as a tree. And the fifth graph, that is graph E, here there is no cycle present in the graph, but here you have different components and those components are not connected. Hence this graph can't be considered as a tree. Here we have a component one, component two and component three. So each one of the component can be considered as a tree. Hence, this can't be considered as a tree, but it can be considered as a forest, which consists of the tree one, tree two, and tree three. So this is the example for the forest, but here it is not a tree because each of the component are not connected with each other. And along with this, we have some six theorems which will explain the properties of trees and you can go through that. You can use nodes as otherwise you can use the textbook. Uh, so the next thing is, if a tree consists of n vertices, then the edges will be always cardinality of E. That is total number of edges present in the tree is equal to n minus one. So n is the total number of vertices present in the tree and edge will be always n minus one. Suppose if you take this example here, what is the count of vertices? That is cardinality of V is equal to two, but the cardinality of E is equal to n minus one. That is two minus one, that is equal to one. So the same thing here, we have two vertices, but only one edge. If you consider this graph, the vertex count is three and it should be three minus one that is equal to two. Here we have two edges. So always it is true if three consists of n vertices and obviously it will consist of n minus one edges. I just stop here. Thank you.